In this video, I want to talk you through getting a residual income while you're on the road. Because there will be times when you're traveling and you're not able to do any freelance work, you're not able to do any drop shipping or anything like that. So you want to make sure that you do have some cash coming in. And of course, the more money you have coming in without you actually having to work for it, the more free time that you've got to spend uh, enjoying life out traveling the world. Now, traditional forms of residual income come from investments, things like savings, stocks, bonds, certificates of deposit, otherwise known as CDs. But you do need to have a lot of money to invest in these schemes in order to get a decent return. And all around the world now, savings rates are at rock bottom. So the return on your investment isn't going to be particularly high if you do it this way. Of course, if you have a house, you can always rent it out while you're away. After all, you're not going to be living in it. Uh, but you do need to make sure that you're properly covered with things like insurances. You want to make sure that you have an agent. And of course, they're going to charge fees to do all this. Plus, of course, if you have a mortgage on your property, you have to tell the mortgage provider. They might wish to switch you over to some other type of mortgage, a buy-to-let mortgage, for example, which might not be so advantageous. It might mean that your payments go up, etc. So you need to think of a way of making money online that requires minimal input from you. And the first thing that comes to mind is a membership site. And membership sites are very popular. And what you have is a membership site on a particular topic or niche. People pay a subscription and get access to information on the site. Now, it's not completely passive, as you do have to put in some work, but you don't have to sell it over and over again. Once people are subscribed, all you've got to do is keep them subscribed. Now, your membership site could contain articles, videos, software downloads, etc., and there are a number of different membership site platforms that are out there that you can use to mount your membership site on. If you're going to base your membership site on a WordPress platform, there are a number of different plugins you can get. Some are free, some are paid for, others have um, a free version and a paid for version. Some good ones are Paid Membership Pro, which you can find out here at paidmembershipspro.com or probably the most powerful one and the most popular one is S2 Member and you can find out more here at s2member.com or you can do a search from within the WordPress dashboard itself just come here to plugins type in membership site and you can see there are a lot of different ones that you can choose from Whatever platform or format you choose, make sure your membership site has a forum. And this gives members a reason to keep coming back. And you can also use it to research what members would like to see more of on the site. There are lots of forum plugins that you can get for WordPress if you're going to use WordPress as your platform. And if you go to plugins and then do a search within the WordPress dashboard, you'll find that there are lots and lots of them. And it's a good idea to just simply go through and see which one's going to work best for you. Another thing you might consider is to make your entire membership site a forum. And this is done very well by the Warrior Forum. Uh, this is an internet marketing forum. And the way that they do it is you've got free and paid for memberships and various levels of payment memberships. Uh, 
And so you can have a discussion, you can go and read it for free. If you want to post something on there, you have to become a member. There are various levels of membership, like I said. You can also advertise on the site. And while I wouldn't recommend trying to duplicate the Warrior Forum in the internet marketing niche, because it is the uh, probably the most popular site in the niche, uh, this sort of um, business model could work very well in some other sort of niche. Another option is to become a website hosting reseller. Now, this is more passive than a membership site. And what you do is you get a reseller account from a hosting provider and then you parcel up hosting accounts. And you can offer them as a standalone product or, and this is probably the most common way of doing it, you can offer them as an upsell if you do website designs. You can have website design and it includes X amount of hosting and then after that people have to subscribe. And you'll find that people generally don't shop around for website hosting so uh, you can just simply start charging them after the free period has expired. Some popular sources of reseller hosting are HostGator. This is a US-based site, and you can read about it at hostgator.com forward slash reseller hyphen hosting. And Heart Internet, this is a UK-based site, and you can find out more at heartinternet.uk forward slash reseller hyphen hosting. Now, one tip for both membership sites and for website hosting reselling is to set up recurring payments. And that way you don't have to send out invoices or chase payment. And you can do this very simply in PayPal if you have a business account. One thing you could do is consider offering a discount if people pay quarterly or half yearly. So then your uh, transaction charges do go down a bit that way. Something else that you can do to get a residual income is to sell your own digital products. You can sell things like ebooks, videos, or audio products. Now, You'll need to have quite a few different products in order to get a decent income, but it's something you can do in your spare time before you leave. And you can also outsource the creation to another freelancer. Some popular distribution sites for digital products are ClickBank, which you can find here at clickbank.com, and JVZoo, which you can find at jvzoo.com. You can also publish ebooks for the Kindle directly to Amazon, and you can find out more at kdp.amazon.com. And finally, you might also want to combine your text and videos, etc., into a course, and you can distribute those at Udemy, which is Udemy, which is U D E M Y.com. And of course, you can always turn your digital product into a physical one. And there are a number of sites which will enable you to do this. Some good sites for creating physical products are Lulu, which is lulu.com. And probably better is CreateSpace, which is an Amazon company. And you can create physical books, you can create DVDs, you can create CDs, all sorts of good stuff, and it automatically gets listed in Amazon.com, so you can get out to your audience very, very quickly indeed, and you can read more about it at createspace.com. And you can keep adding to these as you go along, and then you build up a passive income portfolio that requires very little attention, leaving you free to enjoy your travels. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.